Hello everyone, thanks for stopping back again. Today we're going to have another quickie episode covering the light switch. Uh, good thing we decided to replace that light switch because uh, as you'll see shortly, there was a heck of a wiring mess in there that uh, down the road really could have been a problem. Uh, so let's get started with the video and I'll show you what we're talking about. So I decided to replace the headlight switch because I want to run the parking lights and the headlights together at the same time and from the factory it was one or the other but not both. So it's a good thing we decided to replace the headlight switch so I can run both the headlights and the parking lights together and I'm going to show you a reason why you always need to thoroughly check out uh, any work that was done previously to a vehicle before you owned it. So here we've pulled out the headlight switch from the F100 and this was the original headlight switch and as you can see the previous knucklehead not only put tin foil in some of the fuses to make sure that they don't blow the fuse he also broke the glass and bent a longer than what should be in their fuse so that it would make connection for his turn signals and radio couldn't believe when we pulled it out we found it like that. Let me show you the new switch that will be going in. So here's the new switch that will be going in. It's for a 70 F100. And the only thing that we found that I'm going to have to order is a longer uh, pull here. This one's two and a half inches and they do make them three and a half inches. So I'm going to get that ordered and that way it will work on the 70 headlight switch. So here I wanted to show you the 1970 headlight switch with the spacer installed and that will push that back a little bit further from the dash to make up for the longer knob and shaft here. This is a three and a half inch shaft the stock F100 was two and a half and then this is the stock bezel retainer nut the one that's installed in there is about an inch longer to make up for the longer handle so make sure you check the uh, wiring on your truck if you don't know the history that could have caused a fire and could have caused a lot of problems for me down the road so I'm glad we caught that early so here we have the 1972 headlight switch in place and the spacer is tucked in behind here which pulls the headlight switch back allowing you to use the stock bezel for from the 64 truck for the headlights. Uh, that switch is going to allow me to run the parking lights and the headlights at the same time which is what I wanted to do and also got rid of the fuses that were a mess in the original one uh, with the previous owner putting tin foil and then just jacked up fuses in there so that fire hazard is now gone and this should be a lot safer going forward so as you can see from that it pays to take a good look at your electrical system you never know what a previous owner may have done even if you bought your vehicle built for you uh, have somebody check that stuff out. Um, that could have been a real disaster. I'm glad we got that swapped out. I hope you guys enjoyed that short video, and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care. Stay safe.